We're in the uh, Oel Yitzchak Synagogue in uh, the so-called Muslim Quarter. We know it's the old Jewish Quarter of Jerusalem, of Yerushalayim. We're here with Major Pete Hegseth, uh, Fox News uh, anchor, morning show, um, former uh, fighter in Afghanistan and Iraq, and um, just an author now of, of a great book called In the Arena. And he's going to say a few words because we've gone through a lot of the so-called Muslim quarter, uh, and he's seen a lot. And he's, we're here in Ol Yitzchak Synagogue, uh, in memory, of course, to, the, to Dr. Irving Moskowitz uh, of blessed memory. Uh, and I'd like uh, Pete Hegseth to, to say a few words. It's an honor to be here. Um, as, uh, as, a, as a friend of Joe's and as a friend of Israel, to see what's actively being done by people so committed to uh, the preservation of the, of the, of the heritage of the, of, the, of the land and the holy sites that are of such great importance to so many people. Um, first and foremost, the Jewish people who have, uh, have, have this as their birthright and have or have for, for so long, but also you know, Americans and Christians who, uh, who, who stand shoulder to shoulder with them and believe um, that, uh, that especially what they've faced in modern, modern times, it's, uh, it's, it's an obligation of ours to, to do what we can to, uh, to show support and then also learn about it, which is why I'm here, to get a better sense of um, not just what you hear in the media, not just what you know, certain people want to tell you the situation is, but to touch it and feel it and see it and hear it for yourself and get a true sense of, of what it, what's it like right now in Jerusalem in the old city. Uh, for Jews and uh, and and what needs to be done to make sure that the site is is preserved the way it should be. So. And the media is very very important. I'm talking about like uh, CNN that mm -hmm. not uh, cover uh, directly all mm -hmm. the details. What do you think about it? Well, it's very one-sided. Uh, it has been unfortunately for quite some time. Uh, it's I see it, we see it even in American media with the conflicts that we're involved in where America or others are blamed for things, minor infractions, where the enemy gets away with major infractions. That's something Jews in Israel have been dealing with for decades and centuries. Uh, their actions misconstrued, painted to be one thing, uh, when in actuality they take great care uh, with civilians, with property, with, with the rights of others, with the religious freedoms of others that other religions and other perspectives don't, don't afford. Uh, so it's a one-sided story oftentimes, not just here but in America and elsewhere, and our job is to try to get down to the, the ground truth. I'm a, I was a soldier in Iraq, and there's a big difference between what you read in the New York Times and what's actually happening, and you have to get down in there, get your hands dirty and see it so that you can give a real good, a, a, an accurate reflection of what's actually happening. We're, we're, I'm still learning. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about Mark Twain. Uh, and I'm not, yeah. And Teddy I'm not Roosevelt. Even, it's true, and I did learn about, I, I did, seated in the locations of, of Mark Twain and Ulysses S. Grant and Teddy Roosevelt over at the Mediterranean Hotel, which is very cool. But, so, there's, there's, a, there's an appreciation that I didn't even know about, of, of Americans in the Holy Land that dates back to, to former presidents. Uh, that I think we, we need to have a renewed commitment to, especially in the world we live in today, with radical Islamists on the march and increasingly ambitious and chopping off the heads of infidels of any stripe. Uh, now's the time to, to have a renewed commitment and a belief in, in what the West represents and uh, what, what, what Israel rep represents, what the Jewish state represents, what America represents. There's no reason to be ashamed or afraid uh, we should we should fight back, and uh, and uh, I appreciate the work that's being done.